Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. I told you I would come back and show you what it was the doctor prescribed. And it's Paxlovid. And this is the drug that Pfizer created to treat um, COVID with. And um, this is... There are five of these packets, and this is enough for one day. You take three of the these three in the morning and these three at night. And what it is is it is two different medications. It's two of the same here and one different one over here that you take the three of those at, together and you do it twice a day. So morning and night, or if you look at it this way, morning and night. And there's enough here for five days to, um, to take. This is the um, drug that the FDA approved um, for emergency use authorization. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll know about that. And... Um, and in the um, <clears throat> fact sheet, or the um, prescription information, it tells us all the th these possible side effects and also how to use the medicine, cautions, um, what you do if you think you had an overdose, and additional information. But what, what, I, what I took away from reading all that was that they were giving us... Um, <clears throat> possible scenarios of reactions that could occur with a whole, like a, just go into the drugstore and say, this section of drugs and all the possible reactions that could occur from all the drugs that are on this, sh this shelf. And um, so that's the possible side effects that it lists. That's how I, that's how I envision it in my mind. And he also prescribed this. And um, um, it is uh, enough for, it's four milligram capsules. And it, it's to be taken for six days. So because it tells you to take it after breakfast, and then after lunch and after supper and at bedtime, I'm not going to start it until tomorrow so that I can do the whole day and then the whole day and then the whole day, the whole day and the whole day and the whole day. Now, this is a steroid, which will help knock down the infection uh, and all of its ugly, you know, <clears throat> things that it can do. COVID. And um, so um, I just wanted to share that with you. But I also want to tell you that nothing is too hard for our God and that nothing is impossible with him. And Jesus told us, I have foretold you all things and we have not because we ask not. And um, I want to read to you Psalm 91. Oh, and we have Mormon crickets in Oregon. And we have food shortages and crops that, because they're not getting any rain, are failing here in the United States. So, Revelation chapter 6 is in full swing. We're waiting for the green horse. It's going to be riding before more, much more time passes. But we're going to... to um, Continue. I'm continuing to try to memorize Psalm 91. <clears throat> and I have the first eight verses memorized. And when I get to verse 9, I am like stumbling and bumbling every time. So I'm just going to have to do something else about it. <laughs> first, my back was killing me so bad, which my back is still a mess. But um, now I have the COVID, so... I'm still not feeling good, and before I c couldn't um, 
do anything. I was just having to be in the bed so much. I don't know. <clears throat> the devil's after me. But he can't get me. Nobody can snatch me out of Jesus' hand. The Father put me there. And nobody can get me. Nobody can snatch me out of Jesus' hand. <laughs> and he said he would never leave me. And he would never forsake me. And no matter what comes, I trust him and I believe him with my life. <laughs> that nothing, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing can get me out of his hand. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. He, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. Um, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the, the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that lays waste at noonday. That's, that's in my book. It's a translation thing. And uh, only with thine eyes shall thou see and behold the reward of the wicked. A thousand shall fall at thy, at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Because thou hast made the Lord my God. Ugh, this is where I get stuck every time. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. He will deliver us. I, he, will set us on high, because we have known his name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our God is so good. He's so wonderful. Words truly cannot describe how wonderful he is. Just now, no weapon designed by man can prosper against us. No weapon designed by man can prosper against us. And so, you know, no weapon designed by man can prosper against us. No man can prosper against us. Because our God is more powerful than anything in this world. He's not going to let it come against us in a way that you think. <laughs> and you may be wrong in thinking that, oh, he's going to save me out of this and keep me in this world. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe the way he's going to save you out of it is to take you out of this world. <laughs> to be with him. Don't fear death. Don't fear dying. It's just a doorway to Jesus. Doorway to Jesus. Absent here, present with the Lord. And you know, guys, I could go on and on and on, but I won't. 
I love you. And God said, I want you to be more like me. And he wants us to love one another with all our heart, our mind, love him with all our heart, our mind, and our soul, and our strength, and to love one another as we love ourselves. And then, in order to do that, we have to love ourselves. And as always, I love you too.